Hey, Sonic State. Adrian here from RME. We're Hi, here Adrian. at Superbooth 2022, and we're happy to announce a sneak peek, a quick preview of a very, very nice uh, converter slash headphone preamp that we will introduce at the end of 2022. And this is the ADI2 slash 4 Pro SE. There might, there might be some changes in the name, but basically what this is is um, it's everything that was great about the ADI2 Pro FSR, um, plus what you guys came up with ideas. I mean, we have a very, very, very active community. If you've never been to the RME forum before, you should definitely check it out. It's, uh, you can talk to the developers directly. Um, there's a, a lot of great people around. You can just really learn a lot about RME products in general, and you get a get a very, very good support. So anyways, um, people, uh, people probably know us from the original ADI2 Pro SE, and that was our um, ADDA reference class converter with great preamplification. We had two headphone outputs that could um, power 1.5 watts per channel. So and then we had the balance mode, which was above uh, two, 2 watts. Um, and then we, th uh, we thought, because of the development of um, very insensitive headphones, let's say, that they are quite popular now, you know, planar uh, headphones like Odysseys and the headphones as well, which uh, need a little bit more power. We thought about, hey, let's put some, some more power, some more flexibility into a new uh, range of reference class converters. That doesn't mean that the ADI2 DEC nor the ADI2 Pro FSR will be obsolete. We call this the special edition. So this is just something that some people ask for, especially mastering engineers. So let's get a quick rundown. We don't talk about specs right now because, as I mentioned, this is a pre-production model. Uh, we got this yesterday, so we are still measuring it. We are still putting up with the specs. We will still implement a lot of new things. So um, let's talk about it. So the ADI2 4 Pro SE is basically um, everything that was good about the ADI2 Pro FSR plus we got more. So what you will see on the front is we have the same idea with two separate headphone outputs, but we also have something which we call balanced. And this is exactly what you would find on the original ADI2 Pro FSR, but this time with a what we call... It's a four mil balanced. Yeah, this is a Pentacon uh, connector. So there are already headphones out there that have Pentacon. And with the ADI2, with the new one, we have uh, 2.2, 2, I believe, 2.2 .2 watts per channel. And if you go into the balance mode, we have 3.6 watts. This is a lot of power to drive headphones. Wow. That should this be enough. absolutely amazing. And this should be absolutely fine for all your headphone needs. I mean, 3.6 watts. If you think about it, you can drive literally everything with this. We tried it out with the headphones, uh, which need some power to, I mean, they're a linear through and through, like, like the preamplification. This is something that we had to tackle. Of course, you can do a lot of power. You can do like three or four watts of uh, amplification, but what we did is that we keep it linear across, across the board. So no matter how much you put up, with the volume, I mean, we're like like plus 24 dBU. It's all the way linear. So we put up the measurements. It's all always linear up until the clipping point. Then, of course, you get clipping, which is distortion. But up until this point, we are completely linear. So that's that's on the front. So we have a balanced mode, 3.6 watts, and on the back, which is very great. Sorry for the labeling, but this will change probably. You can use, hence the name, four, two outputs at the same time. So you can use the XLR while using the TRS outputs. And the idea behind that concept is we had so many mastering engineers coming to us and said, hey, listen, I want to do, the, uh, I wanna do mastering with the ADI2 Pro, but whilst I'm sending out my stuff, through my analog gear and through my analog uh, chain, I want to be able to monitor everything through the same converter. And that's exactly what we did. Of course, you can do, you, uh, use it for different stuff, but the basic idea is, 
hey, you can use it with balanced mode on the front, you can use it with your headphones, but you still have the flexibility on the back. This is, uh, this is just something, if you use it that much like a mastering engineer, you will absolutely love it. If you're someone that is just interested, I mean, not just, but if you're interested in recording and you want to uh, just have a nice setup for, for home or for mobile, the ADA2 Pro FSR is still great. We implemented so many new features. If you go to our, to our RME channel, to the existing ADI2 Pro FSR and the ADI2 DAC, like loopback into the units, so you can use it now with DigiCheck. You, will, you can analyze all your audio data whilst listening to them on the, at the same time. We put so, so much into the ADI2 Pro FSR and the deck, and we will continue to do so. So that's, that's uh, our credo. We never will, just because we have a new product, uh, get rid of the old ones. And you will find that on our forums. Um, and this is the same for the ADI2 Pro. We have more, we can do a little bit more. We have more DSP power inside the new one, uh, roughly around 20%. So we will do some, some new ideas. We can't say for sure what it will be. If you have some, uh, some ideas, again, go to the RME forum, give us some insights on what you would like to see with the new ADI2 uh, 4. Um, yeah, and... Um, I, there's so much to talk about it, but let's let's put it this way: it will have great conversion. We will put up with more uh, stuff. We have 21 relays inside this. The signal path and the routing is really really great. Um, and something a sneak peek that we will show later as well: we have some linear PSUs in the future. Oh, interesting! So this is great. Um, I can't say much about these but uh, just say they're going to be ca coming and this is maybe what they might look like this is really interesting they will put out like very very linear fixed 12 volts we did some really amazing stuff with that matthias our main developer he uh, he is very 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 keen on showing the features later we had some great stuff about it so there will be something in the future for sure so we just wanted to show that because we're really excited about the future developments at RME. And yeah, I mean, that's quite a, a long talk already, so I'll keep you, um, keep you now with, uh, with my outro and say thank you so much, Sonic State. Really appreciate it that you come at Superbooth. If you have a chance, go check it out. We're here. You can listen to our uh, DAC and to our ADI2 Pro. Oh, and by the way, of course, this one is also, also class compliant. I forgot it. So. Bring your iPhone with, you can pop it in and just listen to your favorite tracks. Many thanks, Ergen. Thank you so, so much, and see you soon.